this right here is overrated. <laughs> I just posted a picture on Instagram and it's doing really good. So you should go over there and go check it out because I took that picture myself and I'm very proud of it. Like when you do something yourself that you don't regularly do and it comes out fire. You gotta give yourself a pat on the back. All right, first things first, I'm the realist, but nah, for real. First things first, I'm about to prime my face, of course. So I'm about to use the CoverGirl True Blend and Base Business Moisturizing Primer. And then I'm going to go in with the NYX Pore Filler. But if you guys know a primer that pretty much does the same as the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer, please let me know because I've been on a hunt for one that's more affordable. Even though I'm still going to get my Fenty Beauty one. But for videos like this where people don't want to get that because it's a little expensive for a primer then I wanna have like a dupe. So if you know a dupe, let me know in the comment section. Now I'm finna take my favorite foundation. This is my favorite drugstore foundation ever. This is the CoverGirl Matte Mate Foundation. All of their matte foundations are really good. They have a lot of shades, which I love. That's why I always recommend this one because for one, like all of y'all are not my skin complexion. So, yeah, I want to like give you guys foundations that have a wider selection and this is one of them. Now I'm going to take this CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer and this is their full coverage concealer. It is very full coverage and I love that. But the only thing is they don't really have that many shades to um, kind of like highlight. Like this wouldn't be a highlighting shade for me. This is just to conceal. They do have other shades in their concealers. I have to go uh, see which one will work better for my winter shade, but that was like my summer shade and it worked really good. But now, my tan is like going away. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face really quickly because I already started creasing. And I hate when I crease, like honestly, truly. For some reason, I don't crease up my forehead anymore. That's really weird. I don't know what I did, but I just don't crease up there anymore. Oh, and I'm just taking the CoverGirl. This is their True Blend, what is this? The powder? This is their True Blend powder. And I'm just setting everywhere, girl setting everywhere and getting everything together. This daggone powder bar. <sighs> Bruh, this powder is OC. Why is it so good? If they make one a little bit more yellow, it'll be just for me. It'll be just for me. Oh, I got powder everywhere, what the heck? I usually like to mix their powder with some of the um, Sasha Buttercup setting powder, but since today I'm doing a drugstore more affordable look, I'm not gonna do that. This is not affordable, but it is really good. And I've had it for about a year now and I haven't even hit, maybe a year, but I haven't even hit pan yet. And this is your Backstage palette. This is their contour palette. And I'm just taking this color right here and I'm gonna contour my face first. I like a cool contour powder first in the winter time because I'm not as like golden. So I take a cool first and then I'll go in with a bronzer to give me some color. This brush is so ugly now. I got this from Morphe. It was cute at first, but now the sparkles are coming off and it's starting to look a little dusty. This bronzer right here, I really feel like is a good dupe for the Fenty Beauty um, bronzer. And this is the CoverGirl Full Spectrum bronzer. And I have the shade Sunlight. Y'all, this joint 
really reminds me of the Fenty Beauty bronzer. The only thing is it gives you a little bit of a sparkle. So like in the sunlight, it just hits your skin. So good. I just um, shaped them up a little bit. I like how this brow came out rather than this brow, but it's it's cool. Um, but I waxed them myself. Even though I don't really have that many brow like hairs or whatever, I still like to keep them a little neat. Be Ooh, what did I, what am I doing? What am I doing? Um, but yeah, I was saying that I still like to keep them neat because it looks better when I'm doing my makeup. But when they're like a little messy, it looks better. I don't have on makeup. Since I dyed my hair, I don't know if I should do like an auburn for my brows or if I should just keep them this brown. I think it looks good with the brown though. But what do y'all think? Should I go burgundy brows, like an auburn burgundy brow? Or should I do the brown brows? All right, so I'm about to take this new palette to me. It's a new palette to me. I don't know if it's a new palette to y'all, but it's by LA Girl. It's their Get Feverish eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna first take this like orangey auburn, no, not auburn. I'm gonna take this orange color. It's like a burnt orange. And just put this all over my lid and use it as my transition color. I want some sushi so freaking bad today. It makes no sense. And then I'm gonna take the color right beside it just a little bit with the um, orange shade and put that more so on the base of my lids, like right closer to my eyelid. I mean, what? What? Closer to my lash line, there you go. And bring that up just a little bit and put it on the outer corner. And I'm gonna actually tap that because I don't really want it to be blended too much into my lid, my um, transition color, I mean. So I'm just tapping that there. I'm gonna also put a little bit of that orange right under my lash line to smoke it out a little bit, give it a little bit of pizzazz. So I'm gonna take some of my glitter adhesive from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm gonna put this on my lid right here and kind of bring it out too. And I gotta look down because if I don't, <laughs> my eyes gonna crease. And then I'm gonna take this glitter from Beak Box. I think it's B-E-E-Q. I'm gonna put it in the description box below. Um, and then I'm just gonna press it, more of it in the inner corner. And then I'm gonna tap some of that off and then kind of fade it out by not having so much glitter on my brush. I'm taking some of that orange and putting it over top just to kind of mask that gold, like some of the gold sparkles. And to get like the glitter off your face, what I do is I like kind of go like this instead of going like this. Cause I ain't gonna do nothing. And then to line my eyes, I'm gonna use the Balm Schwing Eyeliner. This is my favorite. Whoa, where'd that come from? <laughs> this is my favorite liquid eyeliner. And I'm just going to like tap it because I'm not really gonna create a wing. I just wanted to line my eyes so it can um, hide my lash band. Whew, I cannot breathe, girl. Add a little bit of mess. Mascara. I'm gonna put some on my bottom lashes too. And then I'm going to use some Huda Beauty lashes. So I don't know who's outside blowing leaves, whatever the heck they're doing, but they need to stop. You better sit down. This is really irritating. I'm going into voiceover mode though. Alrighty, so y'all, I really do not like doing voiceovers because in my personal opinion, I think they're like a little boring, but I was forced to do a voiceover, so here I am. But if you guys wanna know what I use on my face, it'll be in the description box below, so definitely check that out. The setting spray and the highlighter I use are actually inexpensive and they're bomb. 
which we love. Now I'm just topping the look off with my favorite nude lip combination. And I love this little glossy lip. Like I love glossy nude lips. It's just sexy and it's sultry and it's just everything. But yeah, that is it. Now I'm about to just serve y'all some face, girl. I'm about to serve it up. <laughs> So yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful, helpful, and hopefully inspiring. If you guys did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you wanna see next. I think the next one I'm gonna do is not gonna be just like affordable. I'm gonna do more so drugstore, like just drugstore stuff. Um, if you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comment section below. If you are not subscribed to the gang, definitely go ahead and subscribe right now and be a part of my little family on here. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, girl, what is you doing? Go ahead and do it, like, girl. And yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>